Ta da! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hammock for stuff. Hello, everybody. Um, we're here to show Abraham how to use a sewing machine today because, well, you have to know how to use a sewing machine if you're going to quilt. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we're ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. All right, here you can see the back side of it, but we have a Bernina Artista 730. Berninas are great machines. This one can also do embroidery, but mostly we use it as a sewing machine and it's lovely. It's lovely. I says. really like it. Okay. So it's computerized. Some of it, or like its functions are computerized, which is great. So right down here on the side is the power switch. Okay. So we're gonna turn it on. Let me do it. From zero to one. Now the computer oh, screen boy. will load. So it's turning Ooh, on. Butterfly. Gotta load up because it's a. So you can see there's different options here. There's some knobs and buttons. Does it really make that noise? Every time. Oh my god. Can you change it? <laughs> no. It's not. It's so great. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. I feel. It reminds me of Mr. Rogers. Oh, Daddy must be back. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said that to my mom. She was like, oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> so I'm leaving it, even if I could change it, because it makes me happy. All right, so this is the machine. This is the machine. It's starting, as it can tell you. So, okay. Is there going to be a lot of things that we're doing on the screen here? No. Okay. Mm -mm. But you can just see it's got s different stitches. For quilting, the straight stitch is all you really need. This is like the speed that the needle's going to move. And then for this is the tension of the thread. And then this is the needle position up or down. So right now it's in the up position. So up when position. you stop sewing. How, I, how would I know that if I wasn't looking at that? The needle is up. That makes sense. And then, <laughs> so if this is turned on, if this is turned on, the needle, when you stop sewing, the needle will stop in the down position. So it will be through the fabric. Oh. Sometimes so I don't do... pull your fabric. No, no. Yeah. You guys will rip it. Yeah. Okay. You'll break your needle, whatever. I use it when I'm binding mm -hmm. by machine so that, so that it doesn't slip around. Okay. But otherwise you don't really use that function. Okay. And then sometimes you want to backstitch to secure the sewing that you've done. Mm -hmm. And that's what this does. You click this little swoopy backwards arrow okay. and then instead of moving the moving the cloth this way and stitching, it's going to reverse it and go the other way. Okay. Down here is your presser foot. So you press on that. Ooh. Oh. So that is what moves your, makes your needle go. Okay, so don't touch it until you're ready. Yeah, this is your presser foot. Presser foot. Back here is a lever behind. Oh boy. I don't know. I this. Uh, okay. And that puts your presser foot down. Okay. So that's what you need to do to begin sewing. And then you just lift it up when you're done to be able to take your fabric out. Thread, it gets threaded, comes through here under this little thing. I'm gonna just do it so I can show you. So you go under here mm -hmm. and then you come down this. Down this little valley. Around. Around that. Up around this little arm in here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't do it when you're watching me apart. Okay, and then you come straight down. Oh, it went in that little hole? Mm hmm Okay. And then you come through here. This oh little. Oh my god. Okay. And then around this little. I know, <laughs> what I know, the I hell? know. It keeps the tension of the thread correct so that they, the threads don't get all bound up and crazy. Why you're, can't I do this? Because you're not sitting where you normally are. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I can't see anything. I keep seeing you miss it and it's kind of driving me crazy. Well, then you do it. I don't know if I can. I you can. Know. Yeah, it just goes behind that thing. Okay. Seems pretty easy to me. Ta-da. Oh I'm an expert! <laughs> and then you stick your thread through the needle. Wow. I'm going to see if I can do this from here. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So, needle's threaded, the bobbin is in here, 
which is your bottom thread. Take the bobbin casing out. The bobbin is this little small spool. Okay. And this is the bobbin casing. And you want it to make a P, mm -hmm. I mean a nine when you hold it up. Nine. Like this hangs down. Oh, okay. It's like a nine. And then you want this opening to be at the top. You put your bobbin in. Okay. And then you take the thread and you pull it through this little cracky. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And then you pull it up through this little spring area. Okay. Because that's what also keeps the tension of the bobbin thread. Oh, and then you want the opening on top. I'm doing this all sorts of backwards. And then you put it in until it snaps. <laughs> then to get it to pull up out of there, there's a a manual, I know, there's a manual wheel right here, flywheel, okay. yeah. that makes the needle go down mm -hmm. into the bobbin area. Okay. And then you just pull that through. Now you're ready to sew, for real. What? I know. It's just hanging there though. I know, it's fine. I'll show you. So you want one to be face up right side up mm -hmm. and then the other fabric that you're sewing to it you want it to be right side down so you're going to hear it a lot say right sides together okay that's what that means right sides together yeah when you're going to sew seams you want to have a seam allowance okay. so you need some space between where you sew and the edge of the fabric mm -hmm. okay <laughs> so for quilts typically the seam allowance is one quarter inch Okay. On this machine, the one quarter inch mark is right here, uh -huh. just right on the inside of the sure. plate. Okay. Now put it right in there. Right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now lower the presser foot. Presser foot. It's that. There you go. And now slowly press on the presser, the presser, the pedal. This is going to be like a car where it just takes off. Kind of. So be prepared for it. Ugh, why won't it stay? <laughs> this is why you use pins. Mm-hmm. There you go, slow-mo. Maybe you keep in a good seam allowance. <laughs> presser foot. Raise the presser foot. And then there's a cutter on the side. Cutter. You see this? Lift and slide the okay. thread through. There's this cutter over here, guys. Ah! There's a little cutter. Let's see. Slide it. And it cuts the thread for you. Cut. Ta da! Now you've sewn. Let's put a, a backing seam. on it and batting, Quilt. and we're done. <laughs> Quilt. Snips. Snips the, the thread, the, the extra thread off. Okay. We attach these little 3M hooks to the sides of the sewing, our sewing machines, so we can just hang our snips there, so we don't, so we don't lose them all the time. Okay. Okay. Good job. You made a seam. And how is it? Let's rate it one to ten. Mm, it's probably a seven. Seven. That's, That's passing, a little man. crazy. <laughs> That's passing. But honestly. Here. Oh, it's about a seven, if I'm being nice. Look, it's a flag. <laughs> you did it. You sewed a seam. Yeah, it's not very good. It's okay. Okay, what's next? Okay. Is that it? That's really... I mean, practicing... I have to go through all the things, because I did not catch all that, unfortunately. Okay. But... So, that's what we're going to have you do, because that's really what you need, is practice making that seam allowance. This The... Feeling comfortable with making a quarter inch seam allowance is probably the most important part of sewing quilts. Okay, time to sew. I did well. You helped me. We built a, a box. <laughs>
Um, I just want to say I'm really proud of your seam allowances. You picked it up pretty quickly, which I knew you would. So okay, so next it. next one's going to be picking, gonna a pattern. picking a pattern and figuring that out. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Seems it's really not much to the sewing thing, huh? No, but the next skill you'll have to learn is cutting fabric, so. And that's not fun. It's fine. I hear you complain about lots of little things, so I think it's not fun. I know. It's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> hey, thanks for being here. I want to say thanks to you for being here. And we'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye. 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 Listen, everybody. <laughs> new idea. New idea. No longer a quilt. Quillo. Quilto. No. Quillo. Quillo. Or a pilt, whatever that was going to be. Now it's going to be a purse. And I'm making it for, for her mom. <laughs> so when she comes back on Monday, she'll have a little little purse. It's going to be great. She's going to love it. She's going to love it. You chose this wild-ass project as your first thing. So. <laughs> We're doing it your way. There. And then press your foot up. And then cutsy wetsy. strong sure, 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 sure. <laughs> two hours later Ta -da! <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hammock for stuff or <clears throat> if she has any GI Joe men she could use it like as a parachute, parachute. <laughs> maybe a hat yeah I guess that's cute